everyone, it's me Helene here with my girl Lucy and we are on our way to the lake. Yay, our first for the season. So excited, looking forward to going there. This is the north side entrance, um, and this one has a nice little beachy area. This is a privately owned, it's not a state run lake, so there's the public, public access down there, boat launch, and then um, a lot of private homes and campgrounds throughout here. and private beach access areas. A little espresso, get your coffee. And there's a little camp store and a restaurant. I've never been in there before. Lakeview Dining. Oh, quite a few cars. Okay, well that's good to know. I wasn't sure when they opened for the season. Oh, always see a lot of deer through here, wild turkeys. And these are, uh, to the right, beachfront homes. And Pretty steep walk from up here down to the beach. They always have lots of uh, lots of steps. I'll show you my favorite one on the right. There we go. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is uh, you know prime property. Anything where you have a view of the lake for lakefront access. Also like the one next door here too. This is really neat. that spot. About that, huh? It's a little little vacation heaven getaway, and the lake's just right. I don't know if you could see it through the trees there. There we go. There's the lake right there. Hopefully I have enough memory on my phone to at least film on the way. This is so pretty. I love this drive. Oh, maybe it's six miles and it's all back way. Oh, like, well, except for it's maybe a half a mile on the highway and then it's back roads. Now there are a couple of places here. Check this out. Now this place, I believe, is rentable for retreat. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? We could all really do yarn on the lake then. Wouldn't that be awesome? So that's on the left side, and, and here, here's the lake right here. Short little jaunt. There's a couple other spots as well. Rentals. And um, there we go. I just want to make sure no one's behind me. So these are all private docks along here. I don't know if this is a private home or a rental right there. I'm not sure. And 
come straight ahead with that sloped green roof. That's the little store. And then just past this last dock with the, the orange paddle boats. All this is public. This is all public right here in the little beach. And there's my swimming hole. Oh, somebody wants to pass. Let them pass. So, there's uh, some benches. Yay. I'm going to snag one and park and see you can rent. You can rent um, these little cabins here. And then one of those big houses can rent the lower floor or both the upper and lower. People do that all the time for family reunions and retreats and there's nice shady picnic table areas and um, I'll take a walk on the other side. There's volleyball courts and some really cute little cabins here right on the lake. There's another rental where near where that motor home is right on the lake as well and uh, there's a little mini 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 golf course super cute. So here's my, my hangout, my little um, hidden gem where I come to. In the summer I bring work here, I go swimming. When it thaws enough to get in, I think it's up to a whopping 65 degrees, um, but I'm going to test it out at least with my big toe and a few. Alright, so I'll see you after I park and get over there. So well, here we are. There is the little general store. And I believe that is a rental above upstairs on that. And there's another one. And here, I believe, is another one next to the volleyball courts. And, oh, people play horseshoes. And it's just, it's just nice. And it's real pretty going back towards that mountain. A real nice walk area. And uh, we snagged that picnic table right there even though it's in the sun it was the only one left and what is really nice is the new owners allow dogs on the little beachy area and in the water as long as they are on leash and not around children so today is a Friday so it's starting to get a little bit busy I usually don't come on the weekend so we're going to take a little walk and you see that old come on Liz come on babe that Sorry for the jiggling, but I am walking. See that old wagon? That is actually a little cabin. It's turned into a cabin that you can rent. And there with the uh, corral fencing, that's the little mini golf course right here where the stumps are. And there's a walk path up above that. And here's another cabin and one on the other side and you can see a little bit of RV parking behind that. And here's the um, another boat launch. Just a little little dock. You know, small small town, small lake. A lot of small lakes around, maybe a mile and a half across but you can drive around the whole thing and it takes oh probably a good half an hour um see if you can kind of see the other where it goes on the other side oh it smells so good there we go and their homes i mean it's literally all all around the lake and it goes back around that corner a little ways There's nice little beachy swim pool area. I can't believe there are people already in there. It's pretty cold, but uh, it won't be for long because it's warm as, as it's been already. Um, shouldn't be too long at all. What's really helpful is this little building here um, with the white doors. That's Those are the bathrooms and changing area. And, and there, um, there's a little shower inside too by that white car. Yeah, so lots of willow trees and they just, when the, you can see when the wind starts picking up, I just love how they glisten.
glisten in the sun. All right, well, we're going to get set up, take a little walk, stretch our legs. Aren't they so cute here? Really nice. Okay, and I will see just a few. And So I've walked, we have walked just a little ways up from the general store, which is right behind me, and this is cute. This country griddle, I believe they are open on weekends for breakfast, Saturday and Sunday from 8.30 to 10.30. Come on, Lucy, come, honey. Good girl. I've never been in here. So I guess that's where they set up shop, huh? They have a propane tank. Pretty, pretty rustic. <laughs> Check out those steps, yikes. And um, sit up here under the covered patio. Okay, we're going to go this way. I'll show you some of these little rentals, little cabins. They're basically, um, I've seen at different places have different names, but they are sheds that have been converted into cabins. And most of them sleep about up to six. And you know, there's one that those two are smaller on the left, and then these are a little bit bigger ones. And right behind there's a creek where the deck is. And even though they're, they're very close together, they're actually kind of private. We had um, some relatives that came up a few years back and, and rented one, and it was really quite nice, quite fun. And the deck is the length of the, um, of the little cabin itself. And then over here, there's some picnic-y areas, and you can see it goes back. If you just kind of go straight ahead in between here, I don't know if you can see on camera or not, but uh, there's a walking trail. You could probably take your mountain bike back there as well, but I would say enter at your own risk in these parts because, you know, we are in the wild life territory. Oh, wow, check that out. Go behind that to the tree that's back behind the golf course. Uh, cart and I never I'm gonna zoom in a bit. I never even noticed that There's another little looks like part of an old wagon converted into a Rental a cabin that's tucked back into the trees back there. That's pretty neat yeah. And there we are back around to the lake